Hello everybody, welcome back once again to The Past is Alive. Tonight we are ripping into another old box, one that some of you guys may never have seen before, one that uh, a lot of you don't really remember. Um, used to love these as a kid, fun pack. Upper Deck produced these for two years in 93, 94, and these came out, I was about 10 years old, so, and they were pretty affordable too, obviously geared towards kids. Um, Kind of very flashy and childlike designs here. These are the base set cards here. There's bonds. And there's a whole bunch of different subset cards inserted through here. But uh, primarily tonight, we're looking for the Michael Jordan rookie card. I feel like a lot of people don't really realize that he has a rookie card in this set and are more prone to going after the upper deck and the collector's choice rookies. But he does have one in here, and I don't have it. So we're going to go ahead and look for that tonight. I have been piecing together my rookie card collection over the last couple days. I... Just ordered these pretty sweet BCW tall uh, dividers. Didn't even know those existed. I think I got like 50 of them for, I don't know, a few bucks on eBay. Work out very, very well when organizing top loaders by year or by team or player, however you want to do that, but I do it by year. So really eager to break into these. I've never opened a full box, just packs. Um, there you see in the front there, looking for the Jordan rookie card. Five cards per pack. I think there's 24 packs per box. Really only one insert set, um, scratch off. Maybe there is 36 packs, it's very, very slim. We'll rip all these out of here. But let me know if you guys remember these. Paul L is here for the fun, even though he's probably not enjoying himself as much as he would any kind of real baseball cards, but need to find us Jordan. And I looked him up and saw they're selling for like, I don't know, around 10 bucks on eBay. So I figure, what the heck? Might as well try to pull it out of a pack. It's the most funnest, most fun way to find rookie cards is pulling them out of a pack. Um, and these are pretty hard to find now, too. I found this on Etsy. I paid, I think, $32 shipped compared to the one that was listed on eBay. I think it was like 50 bucks. 93 a little more common, but I think these have a higher price tag just because of the Jordan that we are seeking. Classic cards and FDC, everybody else. Thank you for being here. Here's a look at the base cards. We've got Winfield on the top here. Dwayne Ward. I think that actually might be an error card. It is. I think it's supposed to be card number 97. There's a couple errors in here, one of which Greg Jeffries' name is spelled wrong with only one G. Cole Canseco. Some of these I don't remember seeing at all. There's a Tim Sam with a facsimile autograph. The list, the checklist card, and then the scratch-offs. These are one per pack and really virtually have no value whatsoever. But... Um, very, very cool to open packs these and see these again after all these years. I'm excited. We're going to find this Jordan tonight. And there's Joseph C. Does anyone know a good barber? I'm looking like Pete Rose. When is 88 Don Ross case break? Joseph C., it's good to see you, man. I've not heard from you in a while. I was hoping that you're still lurking around in the background of videos. I appreciate you being here, man. I, I, it seems like barber shops may be opening uh, in PA. I know Joseph's in PA. Seems like they may be opening sooner than later. I know they're opening malls back up, I think, this weekend and some other stuff, too. So your Pete Rose uh, bowl cut may be a thing of the past here very soon. Appreciate that, Joseph C. And 88 Don Russ, that is right around the corner, man. <laughs> so follow Neil for Norman. If you don't have that one, Norman, let me know, and I'll put it in your stack. Eric Karras, and here's a cool one, the kid, 1-40 to 40 checklist card in the Expos. Also, kind of like a checklist type deal. Hey, Hype is here. What's happening? Also, Joseph, you'll be proud to know that I'm working on the G.I. Joe video, and it may come to fruition sooner or later as well. I haven't started yet, but I've been thinking about it more than usual lately. So we may see that here. I don't know. Maybe next week. Andy Bennis. Here's one for Eric. Andy Van Slyke. Pretty relatively small set. 240 cards of bogs. Um... I remember liking these as a kid. Standouts, kind of like cardboard cutouts where you, you pop them out, stand them up, and a tiger scratch off. Adam Wise says, my signal sucks. Hopefully it's not mine. And um, Joe Yankee says, I've been waiting a year for the G.I. Joe video. Yeah, I've been waiting to do it for a year. Maybe Is there more than 36 packs? Maybe there's 48. I know Topps Kids has 48. Didn't say in the box. I hope there's 48. I kind of want to put this set together now. Basically, I want to I want to find the Jordan rookie card. I want to pull out a pack, and then like cards like Tony Gwynn and people PC Gwynn. I feel like I you know send a decent amount of cards out to people and stuff either either with breaks or we trade, so I can accumulate some more oddball cards that people probably don't have. 
Eckersley, Gwynn, Mark Newfield, and there's a Bonds list card. And scratch off. I just actually made an account on Trading Card Database the other day. That website is freaking awesome. If you are a set collector or you know you PC a certain player or anything else, you got to check out Trading Card Database. I just logged my whole Desert Shield set on there, and it is super easy. And you can um, you able to create like a want list. There's other people on there that you can trade with, and um, if you PC a certain player, you can. It makes them very easy to find their cards. I used to like these a lot. Um, I want to say you, what, you put this up to a lamp to reveal the background. Let's see if that actually works. You can hold it up to a light for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that. It reveals in the background. Let's see what Mike Greenwell has to show us. You know, kind of shows up a little bit, but it's hard for you guys to see. I can see a little better. Let's see if I can do it for a few more seconds. I like these a lot back then. I forgot all about them, honestly. Until just now. It looks like he's at a freaking carnival or something like that. There's a Ken Hill. I slap a $30 price tag on that and put that in a showcase at your local antique mall and see if someone buys it like some people have been doing. Greg Vaughn. And a little bit of stickiness here, but nothing too bad. There's Juan Gonzalez, Piazza, and the Dodgers. No sign on Michael Jordan yet. It'd be sick to find two of them even. I don't want to be a glutton, though. Boom Slanks has breathed very heavy on it. <laughs> Let's see if that works. It probably does work. <sighs> Maybe it worked a little bit. Here's a cool one, though. Dave Holland's Rick Aguilera. These things pop open. Tim Salmon and Mike Piazza. These pop open, and they're kind of like, there's like a little tad bit of glue right there. And there's a hologram inside. So you can see what I mean by these were geared towards kids. Kind of frowned on by serious collectors, but I loved them back then. Tim Salmon again and Blue Jays scratch off. I feel like they supposedly lost all their value if you cracked that seal. Paul L's digging it. <laughs> Boom Slings, that's no longer mint. I just wanted to show everyone. I'll save the rest. Nice Matt Williams. Tony Phillips. See if we find that Greg Jeffries error card. I always like these a lot too. Stars of Tomorrow. Those are pretty cool. Steve Carsey. It's just a regular subset card. And Yankees scratch off. Hey, Collector Hollock, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, it looks like we might have 48 packs here. I already lost count, but they're so thin. Paul says, Steve Carsey was not a star of tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very true. Oh, there's a cool one. Kid coming up. Mike Greenwell. Little Steve Finley. Denny Martinez. I like these ones back then, too. Cool-looking Griffey. And Chai Sox scratch-off. So two Griffey so far. Not too shabby. Joe Yankee says, What do you win with a Yankee scratch-off? A Jeter glove Ruben Rivera stole? <laughs> no heavy, heavy, heavy breathing videos, Arthur says. Yeah, I try to limit the heavy breathing on here. Hey, Cheswick, what's going on, man? Jimmy Burnett's big prospect back in like 91 Roberto Hernandez Rafael Palmero and here is one for Austin Farmer very similar to 2013 true play a very goofy looking card not a fan of that one Phillies scratch off <laughs> the card is ugly yeah it definitely is these definitely interesting set I understand why Upper Deck only made these for two years. Yeah, it definitely reminds me of Topps Kids as well, Paul. There's Andre signing a ball. Another Griffey. Pretty awesome. We were, I don't think we've really seen any duplicates. Maybe like one. Sweet looking Griffey card, though. And Maddox McGriff. Cardboard standout. And Boston. Scratch off. Kurt says, I'm excited. I got my Tatis Junior Patch Auto Rookie Card tomorrow. That's sweet, man. <laughs> Mike says, these are good for starting a fire. Yeah, I, wouldn't be th I won't be throwing that Jordan into the fire, though. I need that one. I'm stoked because my last Rookie Card video that I did, it was a freaking mess. It was one of the first videos ever made on, on here. And uh, all the cards were uh, unorganized. They were not in numerical order or anything. It was just a freaking mess, so... I'm going to make an update video of all the new ones and put them in order. There's a pocket 
see if we can put that up to the heat lamp if it does anything and see what he's hiding in the background. Steve said, I've never seen these open before. I accept for what they are and kind of like them. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't be opposed to putting this set together. I'd probably leave these ones out, though. Those are just freaking kind of stupid looking. But I guess if you're nine years old or below nine years old, then I don't know if they're appealing to you. But for us now, they're pretty goofy. Here's a Piazza Foldouts. I'm not going to open that up, though. I think it's just a hologram inside. But cool one. Biggio. <laughs> John Crook. That's a ridiculous looking card to him. And Oakland A's. We are firing right through these packs, and I feel like they're never ending already. This pile doesn't seem to be getting any smaller. That's okay, though, because we still haven't pulled a Jordan yet. Bonds foldouts. Cool one. Back to back bonds in the same pack. Foldouts, standouts. Scratch off. That is an awful card, that crook. That is pretty heinous. And Joseph C. again says, I was playing G.I. Joe's the other day. The little lady barged in, flipped over the U.S.'s flag, flipped the U.S.'s flag over, called me a man-child, and told me to mow the lawn. Oh, man. The U.S.'s flag, that is like the freaking holy grail of G.I. Joe and vintage toys in general. If that's a true story, man, I... <laughs> that is terrible. I think I remember you saying you had the U.S.'s flag before, and... I would cherish that thing, man. That is freaking epic. Thank you, Joseph. Bonds, uh, like that Griffey we saw earlier in Expos. Yeah. Wonder how many uh, of those USS flags are still sealed in the box out there in people's attics. It's a very, very high dollar toy nowadays. Eddie Murray. I never had it back then, but I always wanted it. The thing's freaking huge, man. The Big Hurt. Neat looking card. GM says, I have seen the U.S.'s flag at a local toy show. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, even loose, I've seen those sell for around a thousand bucks. Even missing, you know, incomplete, missing some pieces. Joseph C. says, I've seen them sealed go for 10K. I believe it, man. Brent Gates, Charlie Hayes. There's a bow. That's a cool one. And a one gone again. These scratch-off stickers that are kind of annoying. I think I hated those back when I was a kid, too. For some reason, this pack feels like it has more cards than the other ones. Interesting. See if that is true or if there's something good in here. That's one of those fold-out ones. Larkin. <laughs> Paul says, how much does garbage cost back in 94? I think they're around a buck. Maybe even a little less. Somewhere in that range. Could be like a buck 29 at the absolute most. There is the Professor and Clemens, another one of those headline stars, and everyone's favorite cards, another Griffey. That is a freaking ugly-looking card. Was that Griffey and Jay Buhner? <laughs> Looks terrible. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Criterion Racer, thanks, man. Good to see you, and thanks for joining us. Not sure if you had any as a kid or not, but there's a Pucket. Not going to try to reveal that one. Another Piazza, so now we're seeing... Duplicates, nice big hurt base, and a freaking ridiculous looking Jose Canseco. Looks like he has 3D goggles on. And Marlon Scratch Off. Send it to PSA. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Here's a Ryan Sandberg. Craig B., if you don't have that one, let me know. It'll be heading out to you soon. If so, Denny Tarble. And freaking terrible looking Juan Gonzalez. Jeez. I wonder who the artist was for these. I think he was even scared to put his name on these cards. I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> That's pretty terrible. Burn those cartoon cards. Oh, man. I didn't. How many of those are there? I think there's like freaking too many. Joe Carter. So Mark Grace. Cool one. Putting Mark Grace aside, his cards aside for a fellow collector. So that's probably an oddball one he doesn't have. Mike Mussina and... <laughs> Frank Thomas. Looks like Orson the Pig from Garfield and Friends. That is a pretty heinous looking card. What were they thinking? <laughs> Where's that Jordan at? Where's that Jordan at so we can cut this short. Yeah, for whatever reason, these are about 50 bucks a box now. There's a cool Griffey. I had that as a kid. I was real stoked on it. And Yount and Dave Winfield hidden behind him. Big unit. Marlon Scratch Off. 
Hey, Ike Rodriguez, what's going on, man? The big neck. Kind of like, uh, what, Dennis Reyes? The no neck? I had a childhood buddy that uh, I kind of grew up with living in the same neighborhood as me, but that was his nickname, was No Neck. And we still call him that today. Like, hey, what's up, No Neck? And it's just kind of carried on through the through the ages. <laughs> I don't think he really minds it that much anymore. Delonda Shields for Corey, he's actually thinking about PCing Delonda Shields. I think he has like a little under 800 cards. Uh, went to the same high school. Andre Dawson, nice looking card to him. Oral Hershiser for Phillip. Probably doesn't have that one. Cool, Javi Lopez. I've been stoked about that back in 94, and I would have said, wow, that's a sweet J.B. Lopes card, and put it in a freaking four screw down case immediately. <laughs> CJ says, kids, do we really think these were fun packs? I think I thought they were at the time, but when these came out, I was nine or ten years old, so I was pumped on them. But I was also pumped on Topps Kids and stuff like that, so their target market worked on me. Travis Fryman, Brett Boone, there's a Sosa, I haven't seen that one yet, and there's that freaking ridiculous Conseco card, I want to get rid of that immediately, that is awful, fun to watch them burn, where is our friend Jordan, I want to say Piazza has a Stars of Tomorrow card, I want to find that, Todd Van Poppel, Jeff King, and of course Steve Carsey, put him on the Omen watch list, 93 fun packs. Yeah, those are cool. They're easier to get your hands on, too. Like, I feel like usually boxes of those are like 10 bucks. I, I could not tell you if I've ever seen a box in 94 before and all the flea markets we go to and everything else. I've never seen them. Bonds, and here's a sweet one. Ripping for Ripkins. I don't know if Corey's in here or if he abandoned us for his family or not, but I would guarantee he does not have this one. So that'll be going off to him. Joe's Card Corral. What's going on? I'm sure he remembers these. Pocket and Gwyn. Headline stars, and here's a cool one, Mike Piazza. Standouts, Expos. <laughs> Don't forget to save says, oh, come on, guys. I can't hate on fun packs. I got the Jordan. It's got the Jordan rookie card going forward. That is very true. That is why we were diving into these, because I don't have that one. I have his upper deck. I have his collector's choice. Um, and that is it for 94. It's really all the notable rookies that he had. Here's a cool one, though. These weird heat-activated fun cards. I'm, like, really curious about this. I should have had, like, a heat lamp sitting next to me or something like that that I could just lay these on to reveal what's in the background. These are pretty cool, though. I dig them. Let's see it work, FDC says. If you guys got, like, ten minutes for me to sit here and hold this to the light, just rub it, John. I guess that would probably work, too. Yeah, you're right, Boomslang. I forgot I used to do that back in the day all the time. We'd rub these. That's a lot easier. Good call there, Mickey. Check it out. I kind of wish I didn't rub that because <laughs> I could have done without these stupid cartoons in the background. So now I really don't want to rub the rest of those, but we're going to anyways, just to torment ourselves. Juan Gonzalez Bass. Cool Larry Walker. I definitely had that one back as a kid. And Dykstra. I feel like we're not out yet. We're going to see more of these ridiculous cartoon cards. I just freaking know it. I just know it. There's more coming up. Pocket. Looks like he's giving like the DX like suck it sign there. Or just got done giving it. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. Bill Swift. David McCarty. Uh, I knew it. Ricky Henderson. Sitting on his bum. Back to back. <laughs> What's that, Matt Williams and Bonds? What? Who is this ridiculous guy in the middle? Oh, man, those are pretty bad. Paul L., I'm going to package all those, all those up and send them your way. Uh, I've been stoked on this one back then. That's Rob Nen. Aaron Seeley, that would have been a cool one to pull back then. Deion Sanders and Chuck Carr. I'm sure me and Joe would have been freaking pumped about that one in 94. Inserts, the insert, only insert set is like those scratch-offs, and there's like one per pack. This is the only insert set. These are all subset cards. Pat Listash was a big big name. I was all about PCing him in like 92, 93. Wally Joyner, Brady Anderson, and Pudge Rodriguez standouts. Super retro 90s. <laughs> Kurt says, you know we enjoy watching your channel if we are sitting here and watching you open these. 
I was wondering how it was going to go down. I wonder if people like me enough to torment themselves with 94 Fun Pack. I know Paul L., who now is a wrench. I don't know if you noticed that or not. I guess you have. Uh, Paul L. is here for every single stream. He's in it for the long haul. David Justice, for truth be told, he's a justice collector. That's what I tell the ladies, Eric says. Joe Carter, let's see what's in the back of Joe Carter. Let's do a live reveal. And meanwhile, you do this and ruin your card, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, yeah, more, more awful cartoons. World Series trophy. I kind of like those, though. They're different. Chet, this is Brittany Hayden still have a wrench, or did she get the boot? You know what? I don't think she got the notification that I was even live. Brent Gates fold out. That's a pretty crappy one. Dave Fleming. Oh, <laughs> Mike Piazza getting beaned right in the mouth. That's pretty ridiculous. And that's a terrible Roberto Almar. Yeah, I like the. I don't mind the base cards. I can deal with those. I don't mind those at all. They're pretty ridiculous. The confetti and stuff in the background, but <sighs> we need to find this. Look what it is. We found the Jordan. Roberto Almar, there it is. Sick. Oh, man, I was starting to get worried. Klesko starts it tomorrow. Check it out. Freaking sweet. Man, I am pumped. I've never even seen this card in person. Freaking awesome. Like I said, you usually buy this for, like, I don't know, around 10 bucks on eBay, but so much more fun to pull out of a pack. Freaking awesome. We are, we're having fun now. That's an awesome card. I feel like that's one that a lot of people don't really know exists that he, or, or know that he has, a, he has a rookie in 94 fun pack or would submit themselves to this kind of torture. And his tongue is not hanging out, Boom Slang says. Hey, Chris Weaver, thanks, man. Yeah, that made it all worth it. So stick around. We're going to open a case of 90 tops now to celebrate. <laughs> that was definitely a fun pack. Let's try to pull another one. Let's pull another one and then give it away. How about we do that? Bip Roberts. Two in a pack. Rondell White. I was pumping that card back then. Rich Becker. What happened to Rich Becker? Frank the Tank. What's going on, man? You were just in time to see the MJ rookie card pool. I am stoked on that. I'll spend the next few days uh, organizing my rookie collection. And then probably do, I don't know, make two standard videos. Like one pre-2000 and one post-2000. 2000 to current. Trammel, Dave Justice, Bass, Chuck Koblock for Joe's card corral. And this <laughs> ridiculous hedgehog photo of Juan Gonzalez. <laughs> These are so awful. Awful. Where can I buy card boxes for cheap, Joe's card corral? Uh, that's tough, man. He's, he's got to kind of scour, got to scour apps, the internet. Hey, Vesture, what's happening, buddy? Muscles Marinara, welcome to the stream, you guys. We just had a nice pool here. I mean, look on offer up. Mercari will kind of, I don't know. There, that app's pretty awful. There's a lot of stuff on there, but it's all exorbitant prices. Professor and Clemens again. Thomas standouts. Haven't seen that one yet. Boxes are just going up more and more in price, especially with this whole thing that's going on right now. People being in their houses. I feel like more people are ripping boxes, buying boxes, and with, I don't know, today's modern day prices of stuff. I think it's kind of. Um, Making people go back and buy old wax boxes and stuff and enjoy them a lot more affordable for a lot, you know, most people. So, yeah, it's you gotta look, look on Facebook Marketplace. I've gotten a decent amount off of there. You really can't find anything too great on there. Usually, you end up finding like I don't know, early 90s stuff, junk wax era stuff, but sometimes you can find some good stuff on there. Raul Mondesi for Corey, mining for Mondesi, Barry Bonds. And there's a scratch off for the Dodgers. Wonder if I have enough here to put the set together. Bernitz leading off. Here's one we haven't seen yet. Mike Piazza. Carlos Garcia. <laughs> that terrible, terrible John Crook card again. That is awful. If you guys do TTM and you want this card for TTM, I will gladly send it to you. You just let me know. And that'll be coming your way first thing in the morning. Any of those cards for TTM, you probably would never get them back. The player would probably just take them and put it in 
damn paper shredder. Nigel Wilson, that would have been a big, hot one back then. Oh, sweet, Greg Jeffrey's error card. Nice, and that hideous looking Frank Thomas right after him. The Greg Jeffries error must have not have been corrected because on the back, two G's in his first name, on the front, just one. Kind of cool though. I like that. I like the uh, I like error cards. Paul says Michael Jordan supposedly had an offer to play the majors with Oakland, but rejected it. I feel like I remember hearing that. TX breaks. What's going on, man? He says, "Where are the Barkley, Ewing, and Scott Bradley cards?" Space Jam. Nice, nice reference. He would sign on the crayon. Steve says. Dykes for leading off. Tom Glavin bunting. It's kind of a weird card. Phil Plantier, Caminetti, and another Griffey profiles. Cool one. So, any of you guys at PC certain players, you're probably going to end up with a bunch of cartoon cards in your next package. Muggsy Bogues, Alonzo Mourning, Jason Kidd. The list goes on. Butler. Todd Zeal is actually an error card, too. He's supposed to be number 96, I believe. And he's 97. Somebody was hitting the sauce the day these were made. Crime Dog and Jeff Kent. <laughs> Dom G says these cards definitely have a, have a Burger King Kids Club vibe for sure. Yeah, they definitely do. We need to be playing like the Scruff McGruff soundtrack in the background while we're opening these. I, I love that reference, so I feel like similarity there. It's definitely there. These feel like they should have been put in Happy Meals and or the Kids Club. Merced, Clemens Base, haven't seen that one yet. Walt Weiss, and Delgado's a nice one, though. I like these one, these insert or these subset cards. They're pretty cool. Compared to some of the other stuff out there, those are pretty neat. I feel like my freaking camera keeps shaking. It's driving me nuts. Paul also says the Scrub McGruff cassette is epic. It really is. I've been trying to find the actual cassette tape on eBay, and it's it's very difficult to find. Larry Johnson was white hot back then. Yeah, I definitely remember being pumped on Larry Johnson, too, and having his rookie card. This is freaking stand. It's the most awful thing I've ever dealt with in my life. I hate it. It's this freaking earthquake test. John Wetland, Tim Salmon, Jimmy Key, and here's a cool one, the Manger Mira Stars of Tomorrow. I've never seen that one before. First card of the set, too. Pretty cool. I like that one. Put that off to the side, and we're getting near the end. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We have six packs left. I know you guys don't want this to end, but all good things must come to an end. Dom says, plus those Team and T video cassettes. Yeah, I used to have a bunch of those. Here's a cool one on top, though. You could buy Burger King as well. Yeah, those are pretty neat. They made they made quite a bit of those, Burger King did. Let's see who's in the background of Griffey. <laughs> Do you even want to know? <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Please, please never end the fun pack, Eric says. We got to get more of these. We need to get more of these immediately. Walt Weiss foldouts. I am over that card already. Jay Bell and Cliff Floyd. Not a bad one either. There's Brittany, who finally decided to join us after all these years. Rip for Ripkin says fun packs equal yak or are better or are greater than yak packs. Corey, we pulled a sweet Kyle Ripkin earlier while you were avoiding us to spend time with your family. I don't know what you were thinking, man, but while you were doing that, we were having a time of our lives over here pulling all kinds of fire, and I can't find that card now, but there is a Ripken that I know you don't have. NCJ Sports Cards. What's going on, buddy? We got five packs left. True reward for rubbing. <laughs> oh, Joe, that's hilarious. There's a Will Clark. Rangers uniform. I'm not used to seeing that. Sierra in this dorky-looking Bonds and Matt Williams card with possible Rob Nen in the middle. I think the star card's glow in the dark. I think you're right. That does That does sound familiar. <laughs> Dom. All right, the final four packs of the most amazing break of all time. Jason Bure. And here's the one we have not seen yet. Juan Gonzalez and Bonds. So we're seeing a lot of stars, at least. And this hideous-looking Griffey card, Griffey and Buner, that is also, I don't know, can be kind of questionable, however way you choose to look at that one. And then there were three. And then after that, there was a case of 90 tops. 
Yeah, NCJ, we were looking for the Michael Jordan rookie card out of here, and we found it. I'm pretty stoked. I would be super worried right now if we wouldn't have pulled that already. Looks like we have a Chipper Jones coming up, though. It's pretty awesome. One I've never seen before either. Very cool Chipper. Another guy, Corey PCs. Yeah, there's a, I think Piaz has a card in this, too. I want to say I pulled it whenever I was a kid and was real stoked. <laughs> Boom slang. Keep the party going. Man, you weren't even here for half the party, Corey. You betrayed us. I'm just giving you a hard time. I definitely had that Bonds as a kid. Let's open these last two. And bask in the glory of 94 Fun Pack. Probably, I don't know. Hopefully the the thrills you got from this will last you a lifetime because I'll probably never open one again. Maybe 93 at some point if it's popular demand. I like this card too, Griffey and Donnie Baseball. It's a cool one. Definitely had that as a kid too. <laughs> Corey. Randy Johnson again, the stand-up card. Uh, Barry Bonds. Let's uh, see if we can bring this card to life. I don't think we saw this one yet. And then they go back to the way they were on their own. Like I said, these were heat activated. What is that guy fishing in the outfield? Freaking weird looking card. I said that says I feel like saved by the bell theme should be playing in the background. <laughs> hey, you guys are funny. Bobby Bo, that's a cool looking card. I used to like him a lot back then. Carlos Bayerga, Roberto Alomar, and another profiles of Frank Thomas. And our fun has finally come to an end. So thank you guys for bearing with me for that. I had a good time, though. It's definitely interesting to see all those cartoon cards. I'm going to try really hard to forget that I ever saw those. But freaking sweet, Jordan. I'm stoked to have this in the rookie card collection, finally, after all these years. So, um, like I said, if you want to find a box of these or get yourself a box of these, which most of you probably won't, about 50 bucks. So, 93 fun pack, a lot cheaper. But um, we'll be back on schedule here again soon. Probably open 90 tops. I don't know, maybe in the next few days, 92 score, looking for a mantle auto or some of the other autos. But I am stoked because this came in the mail today. This coming Tuesday, we are ripping BBCE authenticated box of 83 Don Russ. So looking for Boggs, Rookie, Sandberg, and Gwyn. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while and was able to pick up one for a good price. Um, so that is next Tuesday. So um, that's all I have for you guys tonight. Hopefully you enjoyed the video somewhat. And we're stoked on that pool. Um, I guess I will see you all in the next couple days. So I'll talk to you. Have a great weekend. And thanks again for watching.